Good afternoon to you. It's another gloriously sunny day here in London. That's the picture out across the more eastern parts of London. Blue skies. It did start off very grey, but that mist is beginning to lift now. Any residual fog should be out of the way over the next couple of hours. Bristol has also got a lovely fine day, and the same in Birmingham. A little bit of high-level cloud you see in the distance there, and that's thicker as we get towards Belfast, where there is a weather front that's produced just a odd spot of rain or drizzle coming out of it, gradually slipping its way south. As you can see, that line of cloud on our satellite picture, and that will gradually push its way south during the rest of the afternoon. So a lot of dry weather around, a lot of fine weather out, some mistiness perhaps in East Anglia and into the southeast of England, otherwise dry, and also we'll see a few showers affecting parts of Scotland, but really we're looking at the dry conditions continuing into the weekend. Temperatures, well, between 6 and 10 degrees, it may be struggle a little bit where we've kept that mist and fog first thing this morning. But let's look a little further afield because there's some very wet weather if you're heading for a holiday in the western side of the Mediterranean. Now, Menorca's caught a packet of rain, 30 millimetres or so in the space of a day. Still a lot of cloud for this part of the world, and that area of low pressure is going to be with us throughout today through tomorrow before it all starts to weaken and gradually pushes out of the way. So really for the whole of Europe, certainly in the south here, high pressure from the UK all the way down to the Mediterranean means a lot of fine dry weather, and that's represented in our city forecast through Friday and into Saturday. A lot of sunshine around, just the risk of the odd shower in Athens through tomorrow afternoon. Well, back home, let's have a look at what we've got, because we still have high pressure close by, and it really does dominate our weather throughout the forthcoming couple of days into the weekend, and yes, it's going to be with us all the way through the early part of next week as well. That's sweet news for those that have been so badly affected by those floodwaters. So let's have a look at the situation then, because that area of high pressure there on Wednesday, that's six days from now, so still with us. But there is a weakish weather front that we've mentioned that's coming down from the northwest. You can see this line of cloud on our satellite picture. A little bit of rain coming out of that as it slips its way steadily southwards. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. And it'll be with us across these more central areas for tonight. So either side of that, frosty in that central area, perhaps frost-free. But a misty grey start for some of the more southern parts. And I think for tomorrow, that will be with us, I think, for a good part of the day, slowly creeping its way southwards. Tomorrow's forecast eventually bringing the sunshine out and a top temperature of between 6 and 8 degrees. Saturday is very similar. Some mist and some fog first thing, a frosty start again. And that includes all the way into Sunday, our dry story continuing. That's all from me.